at home sweet home. Yeah, place is nice. We got a got a phone. Damn, should have cracked a window. Tables and there's a window here. Got a great view of that sign. Oh, see the waterworks, that's a plus. Got a full roll of paper towels. Cheer up, Big B. Let's, let's see what's in the freezer. Damn it. Alright, so we're not having any cold drinks. Uh, Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. At least we got a, what appeared to be a bottle of ketchup. That's a, that's a start. Bluebeard's file. Should have never trusted this guy. Nah, you should never trust anyone named after the color of their beard. They're usually pirates. Oh, hey, take out. Don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. with the fan. Look at the fan. At least this still works. Yeah, I got a working fan. That's a positive. Turn it off. Should help. Yeah. Get some airflow going up in here. And there's a pig in my chair. That's awesome. I'm going to pretend not to see it for the moment. But there's nothing else to do, so I'm going to harass the pig. So look at the pig. Oh, not again. Hey, okay, let's talk to the pig. Hey, Colin, get up. Okay, that didn't work. Poke the pig. Oh, hey, Big B. That is an ugly pig. I'm in your chair, huh? Just a little bit. Yeah, get out. Probably gonna need a whole gallon of Febreze for that. Got a smoke? Clearly I do. Thanks. Couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Come on. That's a little dramatic. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. I hope I don't hate so, me. So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. 
What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Yeah, my hands are pretty messed up. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes. Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. Uh, she didn't tell me her name. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just sense. Just give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window and... I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Deal. Thanks, Big B. I'm going to have to throw that glass out. Hmm. Oh, God, I'm coming, I'm coming. No. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. Eh, awkward small talk. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Remove the jacket. No. 
you knew this girl? Is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. Just a girl. We didn't have a whole lot of time to chat. The woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of... us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. in there. It's a ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I, I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Uh, check the... Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp something with magic attached to it. Uh, over here. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Sorry, this is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what, what do you want to do next? Invest. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Okay, sorry if you noticed a cut there. I had to uh, step away for a minute. But all right, now we get to explore out here. What is over here? Oop, thing on the ground. Look at it. It's a trail. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. And where does this trail lead? No signs that it's been here long. Take it. We need the evidence. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. And look at the fence. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Very possible. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Yeah, somebody got jabbed real good right there. Look at the trash can. Just some loose trash. Alright, nothing interesting there. 
and we explore the other direction. I need to know this. Hello, Snow. I'm going to go over here. Anything of interest this way? Probably not. Yeah, it's not letting me around the corner. Back to snow, I guess. This is a nice bench. Uh, yes, show her the cloth. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Yeah, this is a message. This is a message. A message? I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time, but... Just what about this makes you think that? Okay. I guess I'll have to trust you on this one. I'm gonna have to talk Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Swinehart. It's not the pig in my room, is it? What, are you blind? Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, Sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. I don't like that guy. Fucker. That didn't help his case. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fabletown. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fabletown knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. 
Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. Yeah, better not to say. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. What an asshole. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? Well, that doesn't sound right. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. <laughs> How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? I feel like we can safely put our trust in the flying monkey. Hi, yes, I'm I mean, it's a flying monkey. Mr. Crane's schedule seems to have filled up. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed. We could use a genie right now. Worth a try. Indeed. Only due to the amount. It seems to look at the desk. Excessive. Mm hmm. Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then? Or what he did to get them? Well, that's not what I have here. I can look through it again and get back to you. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. I'll be sure to let him know. Up another one. And one more. This supposed to mean? Yeah, it's a little ominous. So, just a little bit. Go look at the mirror. What have you got to say, mirror? Stop hey, pretending I know what you are. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Uh, woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Uh, snow. Show me Snow White. 
Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Worth trying. Where's the monkey Show at? me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. Silly monkey. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Fine, fine. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Alright, the monkey's back. With books. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Go check out them books. Uh, let's look at the big one. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Oh, I recognize this handsome fellow. Hmm. Me. And him. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. And the two of them. <laughs> I wonder what the story was. Hey, there's snow. You're getting warmer. But that's me. Now here's beauty. Beauty. Days. And her man, Beast. Funny. What is this? I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Uh, I want to look at the book some more. Did I miss anything? Ah, uh, uh, I did. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. <laughs> Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Oh, got a little mutiny on her hands. Colin and his brothers. Eh, at least only one of them moved into my place. Hey, it's Toad. Nice hat. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. I think that's it. Yeah, that seems to be it. How do I get out of here? Oh. Right click. Of course. Let's have a look at this book. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. I'd believe that. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alerlaiurau? I'll go look it up. 
Allen Lyra. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. Also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Well, that's depressing. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? With this sort of thing, it's usually the person who knew them best. Or it's someone completely random. We have names now. To the mirror. To the mirror. Oh. Show them the thing. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Mm, he does have a point. Oh, mirror, mirror, names. blah, blah, Abel, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Uh, yeah, Faith's father. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Oh. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Yeah, he's probably innocent. Show me... show me faith. Through powerful magic her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. That's the same thing she kept saying. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? That doesn't look where good. Is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. 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 Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Big B! Shit! Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big B, before he... Oh, well, hang on. Boy! Shit! Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. 
Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Let's do this. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? <laughs> 